If you're like me in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021, your favorite thing to do is grab old wrecks, rip them all apart, and restore them like new so that you can either stick them in your garage or resell them, and then just do the whole process all over again. Uh, that does kind of require a lot of cash, though. There's a lot of pieces you have to buy because you can't repair everything in this game. And so you're going to need to put some cash in your pocket before you can get started. Now, once you get going and you've been doing this a bit, you'll have enough cash that you don't have to worry about it. But uh, to get fast cash early on, there's a little trick you can use to try to uh, quickly build up what money you have. Uh, first things first, you're going to want to have a few things unlocked. Ideally, you want to have as many as the, of the renovator upgrades unlocked as you can get. When you get to this top one, you'll have the ability to repair body parts on the car, and so that's uh, that's an ideal one to have. Uh, but you want to uh, want to get as many of these unlocked as you can. And then in your garage and tools, uh, ideally, you want to have your uh, your wash bay unlocked, your car wash for 1,750 credits. Uh, ideally, you'll have workbenches uh, unlocked as well and your brake lathe unlocked, so that'll be another 1500 and 1750 respectively. If you can have the welder unlocked, that's really helpful as well, uh, because you can boost the value of your vehicle that way. And then if you've built yourself all the way up to this top tier of the renovator, uh, you have to be up at level 6, then you can also uh, you also buy the body repair station. Now, you can buy this early, but it's kind of wasted, because you, you can't use it until you get to, uh, to tier level 6 in renovator anyway. So, But once you get up there, that's, uh, that can come in handy for fixing the parts as well. If you cross level 5, you'll have the ability to go to the junkyard. Uh, I believe it's level 10, gets you access to go to the barns, and then you can find vehicles there as well. And when we get to level 15, which I'm actually just a little bit short of, we can go to the car auction and buy Rex in the car auction as well. But we're going to head over to the junkyard to find something we can work with. Now, presumably, since you're light on cash, our goal here isn't to find a car that we can completely restore. We just want to bring it back, increase the value of the car that we bought from the, the state of the junker that it's in to something that's more than what we paid for it, and then sell it off. Uh, it does cost us 500 credits to come over here. So I had 32,299 when we started. We're now down to 31,799. Uh, so we're gonna want to try and find a car that we can work with. Um, different cars will have a different uh, a different purchase amount, and that will depend a lot on what is left in the car for you to work with. You can only repair pieces that are 15% uh, or greater in terms of the condition, and so you're, the amount of pieces you'll be able to fix on any given car that you pull out of the junkyard or that you get from an auction or what have you uh, is going to vary. But we want to try and find a car that's going to give us a decent amount of uh, amount of return when we fix it up. As I said, different cars have a very different value when you sell them, and in some cases, uh, you're not going to make any money back doing this. Okay, we found a likely subject here. This is the Ribson Starline. It's one of the cars that actually seems to sell for quite a bit. Um, it's going to cost us 11000 to buy it, so you do have to have some seed money to be able to do this, but you don't have to have like a huge amount because we're not going to fully restore it. Uh, 11114 this one sells for. Uh, I know that, I think if you restore these ones, you can get close to 100000 for them, but uh, obviously you have to have the cash to be able to do that. Um, this one has a, a decent number of parts remaining in it. Uh, the ones we're going to focus on fixing are really the ones related to the engine. Uh, the rest of them I'm not super worried about, because uh, from what I've seen, it's largely not worth the value to do it. And we don't want to spend a ton of time on it either. So let's buy this one here. This is going to cost us uh, 11114 and we'll send that off to our garage to work on. Now, it's a pretty dirty car, and the uh, the reason why I have your wash bay unlocked is because that's your first step to increasing the value of the junk you've bought. As you can see, just bringing this thing home, we've already lost $2,540 on it. If we were to sell it now, we'd only make 8,574 credits. So not exactly ideal. So we're going to send it off to the car wash first, and that will be our first stop in fixing it up. Quick, quick exterior wash, and we'll do an interior wash as well as soon as that's finished uh, to improve the value a little bit. It is really a hunk of junk. I don't know how many of the body parts on this I'm actually going to be able to fix, unfortunately. Okay, quick wash. And now we're only losing $840. Sometimes, depending on the car that you get and how much you paid for it, you'll actually turn a profit just on washing the car alone. Uh, I've noticed the FMW, for example, is a good one for that. Um, this one, I, I guess I paid too much for it relative to, uh, relative to what we could get by washing it. But sometimes you'll make a profit just on that. If you don't have the repair tools, you can you can take a gamble and try to, try to just make money washing it. But... Um, like I said, it is a bit of a gamble, because sometimes you aren't going to turn a profit just cleaning it. Once we get it back to the shop, our goal is going to be just to strip off some of the things that we might be able to fix on the exterior. Um, in this case, all we have is the rear bumper and the hood. Um, it looks like I might be able to fix the bumper. But that's about it. Uh, the glass we can't repair, so I'm not going to waste my time pulling it off. Same thing with all the lights and all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, in the engine compartment, there are a few things here we can fix. Um, we can spend a little bit of money fixing some of these things. Not super worried about it too much. Uh, but what we want to do now is rip out the engine, and we're going to rip out the gearbox uh, and focus on fixing those. I don't really care about any of the other components. Many of these we aren't going to be able to fix, and so the time taken to, to take them out and mess with them is just not worth it to me. Instead, we'll just focus quickly on some of the uh, some of the higher value items that we might be able to fix and then replace in the car. All right, we stripped out the whole engine and we got the gearbox of the car out. Uh, I'm going to leave the rest of it in here because what I've found is uh, it, it does not really worth it to pull all the other parts out. You do get some experience for taking things off the car as well as re restoring things onto the car. But from what, I've, from what I've seen, the value of those other pieces just isn't much. Uh, so we're going to head over to the uh, the repair table to work on fixing any of the, uh, the body pieces we can fix. This particular car only had two that we could work on, so not really a lot of value to be found here. Now once we have those, we're going to head over and we'll fix the uh, the engine components and things we pulled off. I, I like to focus on these ones in particular because I found that the, the repair costs seem to be relatively low relative to the value of the uh, uh, the value of the piece once you've got it all fixed up. So we'll just go through and fix everything that we can manage to that I've already ripped off the car. Okay, we fixed what we can there. Uh, last thing we're going to do is grab our welder, wherever I put that darn thing. Uh... I don't know what's doing over here, but I need that on left one. That's going to cost us another 500 credits, so we've already got a little bit into this vehicle. Uh, we started at 32,299. We're down to 18,780. Uh, but the body is looking nicer now, at least. Um, so now that we're, we've got all the pieces fixed that we could, we're going to go ahead and put uh, everything back in that we've taken out of this particular car and uh, go from there. Alright, we replaced all the mechanical components, all that's left are the two body pieces that I took off. I was able to fix both the hood and I think the bumper as well. Yep, so the hood and bumper are fixed. That's it. Obviously the car's not complete, but it's at this point we want to sell it because I, I want to get rid of it, put the cash in my uh, in my account and be done with it. We have 18780 in our account right now. Take a look at the car now. Uh, buy price 11000 114. We're selling it for 18,301. So we're going to make a profit of 7,187 on the car, minus the cost of any repairs, which was actually uh, largely negligible. Obviously, we spent 500 on the body and what have you, but once we sell that, that leaves us with a grand total of $37,081. So less than $32,299 we started with, and we have uh, just a little bit shy of $5,000 in profit, and it took me a grand total of about 15 minutes or so to tackle it. So, uh, obviously you want to experiment, find different cars. Uh, I tried stripping everything off the car that would come off of it and repairing everything possible that I could fix on it and then just selling all the components, uh, including selling the body and white of the car separately. And sometimes that actually results in a loss, so it didn't always turn a profit doing that. So instead, what I found was for my, for my time and money effort, if I grab some of the more valuable pieces out of it, um, like the body components that I can fix, and then um, things around the engine and the gearbox, quickly fix up what I can of those and put them back in the vehicle, that seems to make the uh, the best profit on it. So uh, try experimenting with it yourself. Like I said, you might want to try a few different vehicles. Maybe uh, uh, maybe it'd be a scenario where some of the pieces that break are better just to sell them separately. I'm not sure, but it seems like when you put the pieces back in the car, the more complete the car is, the better the overall value, and you get more than just selling the individual components themselves. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, feel free to come hang out with us on stream sometime. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.